Logan Paul has managed to stay out of drama over these past few years. He put all his focus into his podcast, boxing, and other business ventures like his energy drink, and people who once didn't necessarily love him started to appreciate the changes that he was making. That all changed this week because it's been one thing after another with Logan. It's a mess, so let's get into it. Logan Paul has managed to get himself into a ton of drama in such a short period of time. It all started when Logan got called out for disrespecting his co-host George when it came to religion. I know people that hate me, that treat me better about my faith than you, and you're my best friend. He then got called out for his crypto scam called CryptoZoo. And it doesn't even stop there. Logan is now being called out for getting rid of his animals and putting them in harm's way. Yesterday, a video was posted to TikTok by a well-known organization called the Gentle Barn Animal Sanctuary, and they shared a rescue story about a pet pig. They claim this pig was once owned by a huge influencer and was later found by them ditched in some field with extreme health issues. They wrote, We got a call about a pig abandoned in a field. She was found with another pig who had passed away. She's lucky to still be alive. We were told she belonged to a famous YouTuber and was irresponsibly rehomed. All we know for sure is she ended up abandoned and scared, with mangled ears and a broken heart. So we brought her to our sanctuary with a promise that she will never be alone again. Welcome home, Pearl. They gave more details about her story in their description, writing, Pearl was found alone in the field next to another pig who had passed away. She came to us with tattered ears and a potentially life-threatening infection in her uterus that has since healed. She's clearly been through so much trauma that we can't even begin to imagine, but she's now safe with us at the gentle barn. From what we've been told, it's believed she was purchased originally from a breeder by an influencer. People often buy mini pigs or teacup pigs for clout online, believing they will stay small. When they grow very large and have many unexpected needs, they're sadly discarded. While we don't know everything she's been through in her past, we know her life is now filled with friends, nutritious food, the highest quality care, and so much love. And right away, people in the comments confirm that that pig was in fact Logan Paul's mini teacup pig that he purchased a few years prior. This was Logan Paul's pig. When he moved to Puerto Rico two years ago, Pearl was adopted by a pig farmer. Then I heard the company went bankrupt. And this just goes to show a lot of these influencers get animals, use them as props for their videos and social media, then they dispose of them once they realize, oh, it's actually a living, breathing thing that I need to take care of. Now, it looks like the pig actually belonged to both Logan and his ex-girlfriend, Chloe Bennett. They documented the whole journey of picking Pearl out in a video titled, Logan's First Daughter. So these pigs grow up to be the same size as those ones? Not all of them. They're different breeds. Uh, okay. Some of those are miniature pigs. Some oh are pot belly pigs. Everyone listen. <laughs> listen how she chewed. Oh. 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 Thank you. Alright, Kelly, she's all yours. Very much ready. You are parents who love you so much. Maybe the pigment. This is the best decision I've ever made in my life. No. To Logan's surprise, his once micro pig was no longer a micro pig and was in fact a full grown typical farm pig. A year after he bought her, he tweeted, I bought Pearl over a year ago. I was told she was a mini pig. She's not. So clearly Logan didn't really do any research because it only took me like 20 seconds to look it up and find out that micro pigs or teacup pigs aren't even a real thing. The SPCA published an article on this topic and it reads, Another common reason pigs are surrendered is because they grew larger than expected. Words like micro and teacup are misleading. Many pigs sold as pets are young, even newborn, and have yet to reach their full size and weight, which can be substantial. Not many homes can accommodate a pet that size. 
There are many breeds of pigs sold as mini pigs. However, even the smallest breed of pig will not remain small. According to the American Mini Pig Association, a standard mini pig can range from 35 to 50 centimeters tall and weigh between 50 and 150 pounds full grown. This is as tall as a border collie and can be as heavy as a St. Bernard. Any breed of pig that weighs under 350 pounds is considered a miniature pig. A year after having Pearl, Logan posted another video saying that he noticed Pearl was getting depressed. Pearl is back here and she's lonely. This is what we're exhibiting right now. Exhibiting? She is exhibiting. We are examining her exhibiting. Ah! We're examining Pearl exhibiting what could be signs of chronic depression. This is not good. She was living outside in a pen all alone. So what did he decide to do? He decided to get another mini pig. So Logan did end up getting a second pig, and now people have their suspicions that he might have had an even worse fate than Pearl. The rescue confirmed that Pearl was found near a pig that had already passed away, and many people think it's probably the second pig that Logan bought. It's just too much of a coincidence that these two pigs were found right next to each other. The unfortunate outcome is that it's most likely Logan's second pig. One person commented under the Gentle Barnes video and they wrote, Logan Paul adopted two pigs. I wonder if the dead pig was also his. Very grateful to Gentle Barn for rescuing Pearl. Now there have been some people trying to defend Logan because apparently he rehomed the pigs when he decided to move to Puerto Rico. I, I feel like people are wondering why Puerto Rico, right? Yeah. Like how random. Yeah. Taxes. It's one, it's one vertical. Yeah. It's one. It's a big one. <laughs> it's 96% of a big one, which ironically is the same amount of money you keep every year if you move to Puerto Rico. I came across this video on YouTube by a creator named Sid, and he did this whole deep dive into what happened to all of Logan's pets. It sounds like a lot of them didn't make the cut when Logan moved. Luckily, his turtle was successfully rehomed and later released to a huge outdoor pond. His parrot was left with George when he moved, but George later flew the parrot down to Puerto Rico to surprise Logan. His husky was left behind with a friend, and the dog ended up getting attached to the friend, and now he lives with him for good. And his other dog, Ginger, was sent to a training camp after it killed his bird, and then rehomed to some new owner. So it's safe to say, rehoming pets seems to be a pattern for Logan, and it's just really sad. These pets probably grew a bond with him, and for him not to include or even consider his pets when he moved is really sad. When Sid posted his video, he actually reached out to the breeder of the two pigs, and he asked if she had any information on what happened to them. She apparently couldn't give out too many details, but she did confirm the pigs were rehomed together, writing, I am not sure I am allowed to say anything. I personally won't say too much, just because I want every client to have privacy, regardless of status, but I can say both pigs are good and still together, and they are not with me. Which unfortunately makes it sound like that deceased pig was most likely Logan's second pig. As you can imagine, people are really upset over this. Logan bought all these animals, didn't consider them when he planned to move, and just disposed of them. People have been reacting to the news all over social media, writing, I can't imagine how sad Pearl was. Pigs are smart. That dead pig was probably her companion. Pigs are as intelligent as toddlers. So sad. They understand love and care, and they know when they aren't getting it. He's probably just gonna say, I thought I gave them a caring home, but I guess I was wrong. He won't take accountability for it. Logan has since come out to release a statement about his pig Pearl, explaining how he rehomed her to some amazing ranch, but the owners ended up selling the ranch and she was rehomed again. He wrote, Pearl was rehomed to an amazing ranch that I visited in Santa Clarita when I moved to Puerto Rico. I was unable to bring her to the island. She lived there happily for 10 months before the owner sold the ranch. She was rehomed without my knowledge to the farmer across the street. As far as I know, the farmer called the gentle barn to pick her up and denies there was a second pig. Pearl was transferred alone. This is an incredibly heartbreaking situation. I had Pearl for two years. I'm beyond thankful to the gentle barn for taking her in and will do whatever I need to aid in Pearl's care. And while the dumping of the pig might not necessarily be Logan's fault, a lot of people are still saying that this only happened because you bought an animal that you saw as disposable once you decided you wanted to move. One person said, I am a firm believer that if you get a pet, it's a lifetime responsibility. I would have understood if he moved for an urgent reason. But pets are like family, but more like kids because they don't care for themselves. Do we just rehome kids so we can move? Just my thought. Dude never gave a about that animal. 
he moved to Puerto Rico to dodge taxes. No sane person would abandon an animal they supposedly care about for a tax break. With peace and love, I'd never rehome my animal to move to Puerto Rico for tax purposes to save money when I'm already worth millions and millions, but that's just me. Why does he keep getting animals that are impossible to bring with him anywhere he goes, especially knowing he makes millions and is constantly traveling the world? And that's pretty much how I see it too. When you buy an animal and bring it home, you should be buying it with full intentions of keeping it for life and including it in all your life plans. Of course, there's going to be circumstances where people have no other choice, like illnesses and homelessness, but that wasn't the case in this situation. Logan didn't have to move to Puerto Rico, where he knew it would be hard or impossible to bring all of his pets. I mean, it's clear that this amazing ranch that Logan found wasn't actually so amazing. It's just really sad to think about what this poor pig had to go through and even sadder what her brother might have gone through. A lot of people think it's kind of strange that Logan never even mentioned the second pig, and that's probably because he met an unfortunate outcome. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below, and I'll see you next time.